kid, me say you want it feature bed You write books, film, song, I think with this so it end The way you work, really Them up, I respect it, my friend Nah, I beg nobody, no Three, a couple of years ago, the Oscars were being criticised for the lack of black representation. Well, this year, they're breaking all records as Black Panther, Wakanda forever, the highest grossing superhero film of all time, is up for a total of seven, seven Oscars. After 30 years in the business, legendary Spike Lee has been nominated for a Best Director and Best Picture Oscar for the first time ever in his career for the Black KK Klansman film. So is this the change? that Will and Jada Smith campaigned strongly for. So Jay Mullins is an award-winning um, screenwriter and joins me on the line. Good evening to you, Jay. Good evening, Nikki. How are you? I'm, I'm well. I'm just thinking of an excuse to say why I'm not well. <laughs> That's what I've been doing this evening. But no, in all honesty, no, I'm all good. Um, however, this is amazing, really, on the one hand, isn't it? So what's the significance, you think, of these nominations? Black Panther, Black KK Klansman? And Bill Street as well, if Bill Street could talk. Yeah, and you've got uh, the Green Book as well. The Green, yes, gosh, yeah, four. Um, I think it means that we're starting to get the recognition we deserve in terms of our stories and our potential to connect with audiences. Um, but then it's, on the other side of things, it's not really surprising to us. It's almost like, you know, what took the Academy so long to recognise that this was a thing. So it's a good, it's a good uh, stepping stone for, you know, future um, content to be created so yeah I mean I, funny enough I, I was I was looking at some footage <coughs> sorry excuse me I looking at some footage of when um, Sidney Poitier um, was first getting an Oscar and that was what late early 60s something like that a very really long time ago very long you know you think that was a long time and I know obviously there's been one or two there's you know Halle Berry and there's been one or two others but this just we do I do feel as though we're walking into a period of genuine significance now um, and I, is that because you think um, um, black people African Americans African black British we're proud we're proud to share our stories now no I don't think it I don't think it's a now thing I think it was just shameful the year when there was absolutely no recognition across the board and I think that a lot of people noticed that and called them out on it rightfully and you know they've had to make or make an adjustment to try and, you know, like really pay attention to what's submitted to them. And you said you had the year with yeah. um, Get Out and um, um, Moonlight and so on and so forth. And, and since then, it's it's just carried on in that vein where the stories keep getting better. And it's like the more exposure we get, the more opportunities we get to tell our stories. Exactly, and I suppose partly, you know, there's twofold, isn't it? It's, it's choosing to jump over that hurdle and not being fearful to get rejected. Um, but at the same time, yes, calling those into question to say, you guys better shape up because, you know, we have, there's been such powerful stories. I mean, the Bill Street, um, if Bill Street could talk, is an amazing film that's got that such... my favourite. Isn't that it? And it's, it already, it pulls at the heartstrings for anybody across cross culture and that's I think what's so brilliant now about what I'm seeing in the films that are coming out they actually do represent everybody yeah and you know it, it obviously doesn't um, hurt if you have um, James Baldwin's work to adapt <laughs> but Barry Jenkins is an amazing director so he's done a, he's done a hell of a job with um, If Beale Street Could Talk the casting the music selection uh, it's just a beautiful beautifully constructed and paced film yeah and that we've always had this capability to tell these great stories if given the opportunity and given the platform and you know it's nice to see that it's being rewarded but um i know you mentioned um spike lee's nomination i was, I was going to ask you about yeah the old one <laughs> malcolm x should have been should have oh. been the yeah, anyway but yeah we, <laughs> no, exactly. we see what happened there so yeah. it's, it's around for him so I'm, I'm quite happy that he's a I know. I do, 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 do you I mean do you think knowing the character or well, I, I don't know him obviously but he always comes across as you know what don't take the mick out of me really do you think he'll accept it Spike Lee of course he will of course he would accept it if, if, if he's um, chosen um he, his character is very much uh you know it's my way or the highway and and that's great and that's good um but you know when it's when you when you know what you've put into something and only to have it kind of, you know, just kind of cast aside by someone else, it does hurt, especially as a creative, that hurts a lot. So I can understand this thick skin 
and this you know impenetrable wall that he's created around himself but it's good to see that you know people are now accepting him for who he is you can separate you know um, someone's potential as a creative from their own you know personal way of carrying themselves they don't have to be you have to be this nice person that everyone gets yeah. along with to get recognition so okay. it's good to see that uh, um, Jay, thank you very much. I know if I had a bit more time, I would have carried on our conversation, but I appreciate it. Uh, Jay Mullin, screenwriter, uh, he, his first TV drama, you could say, came out a few years ago called um, Free House, but great to get to talk to him. In regards to the Oscars coming up this year, let's